Hey guys, hey there. Welcome to Winning with Lisa. I am live on location in the beautiful country of Jamaica. And I am at a friend's mansion and estate here overlooking the um, city of Kingston. So I wanted to come in today and share this beautiful view and give you some information on life. And so this week is our life topic week. I'm also gonna share a little bit of uh, finance and we're gonna talk some spiritual things too. So we're gonna just have a blend today. How about that? We're gonna have a blend today. So I want to impress upon you that you can live the life of your dreams. You can live the life of your dreams. And I wanna give you three points to help you on that journey of transforming your mindset to allowing yourself that opportunity to live, to live that life of your dreams. The first point is think in possibilities and not limitations. The second point is speak to your mountain with your faith. And that last point is budget for the life that you desire, Bus budget for that dream life. So. When we talk about limiting our, our mindset or, or not, not putting limitations on our mindset, what I want us to, to really think about is when we don't open our mind, when we don't open, uh, become open to the possibility of more, of more than what we can see and what we have experienced, like even me here in Jamaica, this is my first time being out of the country in almost, in almost 40 years. Um, and if I had not, I've been to Germany, I've been to Switzerland, but I was always a, a, a young girl. As an adult, I have not left the country. I've been to the Bahamas, I've been to other states, I've been to other places within the U United States, but I have not let, left the country until now. And so if I hadn't, uh, let go of the limitation of my my fear of motion sickness, right? Of being on a plane and being getting motion sickness. I get motion sickness very easily. And so I had to overcome that limitation in my mind, right? I had to overcome that limitation and, and think of the possibility of getting on that plane, having a smooth flight, which praise God I did, right? Um, but the possibility of what I can experience here in another country in Jamaica. So when I tell you the experience has, I mean, I've only been here three days, four days. I got here Sunday, today's Wednesday, um, and I'll be here for another week. Um, but it's been just mind blowing, mind blowing. The culture, the people, the food, of course. Y'all know I love to eat some good food and try different foods. Um, and so I wanted to come in and share this with you today. So that first point in living the life of your dreams is to think in possibilities, open up your mindset and not in limitations. So that second point, remember the second point I said, speak to your mountain, speak to your mountain, use your faith and speak to your mountain. Things come in life, guys, we have obstacles, we have things that struggles that come, life is gonna happen. So you've got to set your mindset to, to understand and accept and embrace that things are gonna happen in life. But because of the faith that you have, because of the power that you have as a child of God, as a believer, you can speak to those things, right? And it will change the, the whole atmosphere. And you have to believe it. You have to believe it. So when those obstacles come, when those mountains come in your life, the Bible tells us to speak to the mountain and that, you know, if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, that we can speak to the mountain and the mountain will be moved. And it also has a lot to do with your mindset. So when we begin to speak to that thing, our mind and how we're thinking about it begins to change and begins to shift, right? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to speak to that mountain. You know, that's gonna be one of the things that you're gonna have to do if you want to live the life of your dreams, all right? And then, so that last point, y'all know we got the budget. We have to plan for it. We have to plan for it. 
life is gonna happen life is life is gonna just continue to to go on whether you plan for it or not or not so why not take a make a plan set set some things in action you know it might no it might not go like you expected <laughs> life never does but it doesn't hurt to make a plan use that opportunity to make a budget make a strategic money plan set aside funds for the things that the goals that you have right the dreams that you have um our spending and our our saving and our investing should line up with the goals that we have set for ourselves, the life that we desire. So many times we can get caught up in spending, right? In spending to have things, to have material things. And what happens is you only have so much money. It can only spread so far. So you're going to have to make some decisions as to, <laughs> as to how you want that money to be spent in your life, where you want to see it. Do you want to see it in your car? Do you want to see it in the home that you live in? Do you want to see it on your feet with those red bottoms? Do you want to see it in the air traveling the blue skies and going to different countries and experiencing different cultures? It's up to you. It's your life. So you can plan for that in your budget. You can set aside those funds that you're saving for this or you're saving for that. So you decide what is important to you, what your values are, what your goals are, what your dreams are and then set aside those funds in that strategic money plan, in that budget to help you reach that goal and live the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Winning with Lisa, where we win, we win, we win. And we, ex we exactly do that, guys. We win. When you set your mindset that I'm going to win in this situation, I'm going to win in this circumstance, it, it, it changes your outlook. It changes your outlook. So I'm going to give you just a view of Jamaica. I'm going to turn this around so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Overlooking Kingston. And next we're going back to Ocho Rios and then we're headed to Montego Bay. So I will be popping back in and doing, I'll probably do a live and just share, um, you know, some of the experience that I'm having here. Um, join me back here on my YouTube channel, Winning and Living Golden. Lisa L. McLean, CFEI, the Certified Financial Educator. Thank you so much for joining me here and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>